G'day. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your very own planter box out of recycled materials and then represent that on Tinkercad. I'm actually going to show you how to do that on Tinkercad using some materials and some shapes that we have already pre-existing in Tinkercad. If you click on the shapes icon on the right, so you might have it like this, click on this arrow, click on shapes, and then find everyday objects. We're going to actually make it out of a milk carton and some plastic bottles. So if you grab in a plastic bottle and you also grab in a milk carton, these are our two items that we're going to work with. In order to get these uh, items uh, into the same form as we want them, we would normally cut them in half in the real world. And that's exactly what we're going to do in Tinkercad. If you've been doing a few experiments on Tinkercad, you should know that in order to cut, you need to create a second object, which is a hole, place it over the existing object you want to cut, and then simply combine those two objects together. Obviously making sure not to get anything else together. And we just click on group right there. Because it's a complicated object, this water bottle, it's quite uh, detailed. We're gonna have to wait a few seconds for that to happen. While we're doing that, I'll do the same for the milk. I'm gonna just cut it halfway up like so. As you see here, I'm gonna create that hole and we should get two objects there we can work with. Now we need to fill it with soil just like we would in the real world. And how we do that is to bring in another shape. I'll make sure it's brown. And I need to match the geometry. So I need to make sure the length of this soil is the same, the length and breadth is the same as this container, or slightly smaller. So I need it to be 66 by 66, which is just slightly smaller than the bottle. To put it into the middle, I'll make it a bit taller for now. I'll make it almost all the way up. Just align them. So we can press the button up here or we can press L and then align in the center and then align on the sides. All of a sudden we have some soil inside the, the plastic bottle. I'll do the same for the milk. Make it the same. The dimensions are 94 or 74 by 74. So 74, 72 actually. 72 and we'll lift this up to roughly that height there change the color and align awesome so we've got some soil in both our containers next one I'm going to show you how to what to do is how to create a mini greenhouse effect or mini greenhouse for our cardboard uh, milk container we're actually going to go back into the everyday objects and we're going to find some skewers because hopefully we have some of those at home and we can actually replicate, replicate this uh, at home to create our very own mini greenhouses. So we'll make it long enough without changing the shape too much and we'll rotate it 90 degrees. And then we're going to need four of these. So I'm going to bring it a bit closer and I'm going to go Control C, Control V. Control V, Control V. So we've got four skewers to work with. And then I'm just going to place them roughly. I'm actually going to press a button called D or the D button. So if I collect one and press D, it will actually bring it up to the surface. So I'm not actually going to be hovering halfway in between. So I've got the surface there and now I'm just going to put them roughly into the corners. You can be more precise, but for now that is fine. Grab this one over here. Because in the real world, we probably wouldn't make it perfect either. Next, I need to create some cling wrap. So how we're going to do that is by going to basic shapes. We're going to find just a cube there. And I'm going to turn it into a really thin piece. Drag it up nice and tall. And I'm going to make it blue. But as you see, blue doesn't mean it's transparent. What we need to do is click on the transparency button over here. And that can replicate our cling wrap. Now, cling wrap doesn't need to go around the whole base, so I'll bring it up a bit higher. But maybe it will be something like that. Awesome. Now, I've got one piece. I'm just going to copy and paste that around again. One there, one there. Copy, paste. I've got this one. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Just there. We'll make it a bit higher up. Let's come up. Oh, this one we need to drag up to. You can actually drag it from here. 
and this one will bring onto here and you get the idea very quickly. Just bring it all the way on. And last one over here. I'll leave it to you to make this perfect because I don't want to spend too much time making it too perfect just yet. You can obviously make the heights the same and make sure they line up and just bring them in a little bit and so forth. You'll also need a top for that as well. The last thing I want to show you is how to create a measuring scale on the side so that when you do an experiment, and you have a plant growing in here, you can actually uh, record the height as it goes up. So what I did, and this is to replicate some paper that I might put on the outside, is create a long strip of paper and we'll make that white. And we'll put that right in front over here. So I'll just make it thick so we can see it. Imagine some paper stuck on the front there. You might do this behind the clean wrap or in front of it actually, so you can actually draw on it. Might even be cardboard, so it's a bit stiffer and you can draw on it. But the next tool I want you to learn how to use because it's really handy is a special tool that allows you to duplicate objects um, and the previous action. So I've created a little bar here. I'm going to make it black and I think we can all do that fairly straight, straight, fairly easily using the cube tool. But what if I then want to copy this in incremental distances as we go up? How we need to do this is by using the Control D tool. It's kind of like Control C, V, Control C, Control V. But what it does is it duplicates an object. So I'll press Control D. And I'm still in the tool right now. And what I need to do is lift it up and do an object or an option to it. And I'm going to lift it by 20 millimeters over here or thereabouts. Actually, let's see how far I did lift it. So it started on zero, lift it up to 20. And then I'll press Control D. And control D and it's just going to keep replicating that same object. Very handy when you're doing something like this. As you see here, maybe we'll have something growing and every time it reaches a new milestone, you might say, okay, it took 10 days to get here, the 17th day, the 20th day and so forth. So this is just a good way to, to monitor how fast your plant is growing as well. But that tool there was control D. See if you can experiment with that one as well. Very handy once you get used to it. All right, that's it for this video. See how you go. See if you can replicate or create a mini greenhouse in Tinkercad. And I want to see how it goes.